you're in a dark place, you dancing somehow brings a light and then there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's like, I just got to get to there and I'm going to be sweet. Hi guys, I'm Harold. My name is Dee. I'm Chino. My name is Priyanka. And my name is July. My name is Jimmy. My name is Shinya. My name is Steve. My real name's Anthony, but everyone knows me as Lama, which comes from Lama Rock. I dance breaking, but actually before breaking, my main mentors were my aunties. Filipino parties were just kind of like a mishmash of everything. And there was always the dancing and the singing. And you just picked it up because when all the aunties started dancing, then that meant the rest of the party would start dancing. My mom is from El Salvador, my dad's from Chile. So we have a big, you know, Latin culture, salsa, cumbia. Before I could talk, I was, I was bouncing, man, thanks to my family and, and my roots. I started dancing, like, when I was four. I, was, I started listening to Michael Jackson and Smooth Criminal was my favorite, so I used to actually copy everything. And we were just watching, you know, Video hits, Janet Jackson, BBD, Blackstreet. I actually um, was really into K-pop back in the day. I loved Girls' Generation and I was learning all their dances. Now my style, I'm a crumper. It's the style of dance that, that got me to, to pretty much how I am right now. I decided I really wanted to take up house and I'm still learning from really, really good teachers. I'm in the Australian ballroom culture scene, but I dance both them. I was very fascinated by UK Punjabi music, which was actually a mixture of hip hop and Punjabi music and Bhangra music, you can say that. I realized that I can actually fuse both the styles. I'm using experimental styles and that style is like more an instinct. My style is uh, Lokin. A friend of mine, um, he just asked me to dance with him. We just picked up some of the videotape and the DVD and the more I did, I really um, liked it. I started popping when I was 20 and then in late 2009, I came to Melbourne and then I started joining the local cyphers and practice. So pretty much, um, self-taught but my biggest teacher is a community everyone in the community is teaching me there's not much i could do during the pandemic <laughs> i mean we're limited to 5ks not gonna lie it was it was really hard because it was important for us to train in person socially i couldn't you know meet up with anybody you're not doing much your energy is like kind of clogged up so it's kind of been just like yo like this is a good opportunity to just you know, do your thing and just dance. Yeah. I haven't stopped. I've been labbing almost every day. You always got to be ready. Always got to be ready. So you're always labbing. You can train harder when you're by yourself. And this pandemic actually gave me that opportunity because I was always running here and there. I'm living by myself now. So I think dancing is helping me to not being that alone. I can still connect with the music. Friends are precious for me. Yeah, just messaging, just checking up if they're right. To keep in touch, we've, we've been training online through Zoom. Sometimes we don't even train. Sometimes we just sit there and we just conversate because we know that mentally it's a bit hard right now. Actually, it does help me to connect with my friends. We did have uh, some regular jamming session before. I start organizing a popping Zoom jam session with my friends. And that, that's the thing that I like about it now is that YouTube, all these Zoom meeting and Instagram can help all these youngins to, to come up because back then we didn't have it that way. But now to see that they can actually jump on those stuff and just see video and learn from like all you OGs dances, you know what I mean? It makes me so happy.
things like dancing is a celebration. It's a social thing. Connection in terms of being around with people that gives you comfort. It has helped me to be more confident. I think coming from a culture that's very um, masculine, I feel more comfortable in my skin. No matter what anyone thinks, no matter what you think someone might think, it's just yet yeah, to be you and to, and to move like the way you want to move. No matter how long I've been dancing for, I'm always still learning from other dancers. It helps you to understand dancing has no like boundaries. And I believe it's an important facet of therapy and healing for people who need it. It's medicine. The music is always your friend and uh, we are always also your friends as well, so it's, it's nice.